Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to discuss and have a review on Boeing. Boeing and airline stocks had a great run last week. So what do we, what do we expect? Do we expect a consolidation? Or do we expect a pullback? Or do we expect another breakout? I mean, the breakout that we had was just very outrageous and huge. So it might be overbought, but we're going to look at the chart right now. Always remember that uh, I'm a trend line expert. I'm extended trend lines, and I've been doing that for 15 years, and I have more than 16 years experience in trading. And I am pretty well started trading options last year, and I've been a scalper and a day trader and a swinger for 15. So I'm kind of excited about this new decade that we're going in, and these next 10 years are going to be beautiful. So we've got a low support. I'm going to pull up the yearly chart first. And I tracked, we had this big old engulfing candle right here. And this is where I first started my first two trend lines. And that was a resistance that we had to break. And that's what we did right here of that 181.15 uh, area. And that other trend line was up here at 222.79. So let's go ahead and pull up that 20 day chart. That first one was yearly daily the second one I have a support level right here a pivot point area right here at 220 that's going to be my pivot point area I got a low low strong buy support level right down at 181.15 the second one's right here at 188.93 and that first one's at 192.66 now if it doesn't break below that 200 we're in good shape but that's going to be my pivot point area which is going to be a strong support and it runs it runs right into that 20 uh, moving average that EMA so that's another you know beneficial that maybe it'll bounce off that 20 unless that 20 starts to move up the resistance that we need to break is going to be up here at 215.11 with that first one right here at 209.04 and then the support area like I said is going to be this 220 so let's go ahead and pull up the daily one minute. This is one that I use quite frequently. And I'm going to draw another trend line right here. See where we had that double bottom right here into close. And then we had that kind of little surge up into this channel that more or less kept most, not most of the day, but once it broke out of this channel, this little sending triangle right here, it went ahead and, and created that new high and then pulled back right to that channeled area, which was right in here. So that was created a pretty solid support level. And that's when I'm looking at trends or I'm looking at consolidated periods, I'm looking at channels for support. And that's right in here. And you see it right in here also. And then went ahead and after it had the double bottom, it retested. And then it went ahead and bounced on up. So we've got different support levels on this force right now. I'd hate to see it go any lower than 188.80. We do have another little support right here. I'm going to put that in there. So after that pivot point area, we got three different support levels. There's one right down here. This little channel of support right down here is really strong. You see how it consolidated right there. So let's go over this trade right now. We have a resistance to break. I'm going to say right in the 218.39 area. We did have a 218.79 high. So we broke out of the pivot point. And that was right here at 200. It can pull back to that and maybe bounce up from there. Or it can go ahead and break down and pull on back and have a horrible week next week. We've had a wonderful run on this stock. Just remember, I'm going to pull up this 20-day one more time and let you look at it. We ran from 113 down here all the way up to 218. That's a $105 bounce. $105 bounce in a matter of less than three weeks. So it's had a very nice run, and then last week it had the huge breakout off this double top area right in here at 158.24. So let's go ahead. I'm just trying to analyze it so we get a better picture of it. I kind of think it's a little overbought, but the momentum is here. Low support right down here at the 200 area. And that's going to be the pivot point. If that can hold, that'll be a great thing. And unless not, it can break the 209.40. We're going to go to that next resistance of 215.11. 215.11. But I'm kind of bullish bearish on this, and I'll be watching the tape. 
for next week, the time in sales, and we'll be watching the money flow and see if people are going to start putting more money in this. But this is going to be one of my stocks of the week to watch next week, along with a bunch of other ones that just had a very nice breakout. And we're going to go ahead and pull up that I Love Stocks website. I want to wish everybody a, a merry, merry, happy next week, and let's get down and make some money. I Love Stocks. Thank you.